The 1990 film of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had its fair share of deleted scenes, and today I want to take a look at one of the most powerful deleted scenes that most fans never got to see for themselves. This scene is about the Shredder taking on four of his thugs who would receive a punishment for failing their task. The four thugs I am referring to are the ones who tried robbing April O'Neil at the beginning of the film and the Turtles easily dealt with them, leaving them tied up for the police to recover. And since they needed to be bailed out of jail, they needed to be punished. Here is the only leaked clip revealing the four thugs attacking the Shredder as he sits effortlessly dealing with each one of them. If you're wondering what happened next, the rest of the deleted scene may not have been revealed yet, but the script for the film describes the scene thoroughly. I'll explain the scene as it was written in the script. He makes his way toward the platform looking neither left or right, but completely focused on his destination. Tatsu follows off to the side, a step behind. The teenager's part clearing him a path to the platform. He heads straight to the center of the barren stage and sits, his movement seizing completely. He stares straight ahead. Tatsu then moves in and carefully removes the cloak, the reason for his care evident when he exposes what lies beneath, a severe black doji, spiked with razor-sharp ninja armor. Tatsu then looks off the platform and nods, and four very nervous-looking teenage thugs for the same ones that were turtle-tied in the Channel 6 parking lot step up onto the platform, forming a square around Shredder. He still doesn't move. Tatsu then receives a box from off the platform and removes an ornate red headband, which he slowly drapes over one of the Shredder's shoulders. Tatsu then says quietly and respectfully, Master Shredder. The four thugs now have eyes only on the red headband, as they are handed various ninja weapons from off the platform. Shredder has none, and still, he doesn't move. His eyes continue forward as the thugs stare at the red headband, pursing their lips and wiping away nervous perspiration, and we begin to get the idea that the one who gets the headband doesn't receive a reward, but rather avoids a punishment. Tatsu stands at the back rim of the platform and holds up a hand, palm outward. It's very quiet now and with no movement from the audience, as they and the four thugs concentrate on Tatsu's hand. It closes into a fist, and with it, the four thugs attack, producing loud screams with each thrust they make attempting to reach the red headband. But they don't have a chance. The Shredder remaining seated seems to know where they will strike before they do, and with simple, fluid movements, never making a sound, never wasting a motion, he not only repels their attacks, but exacts a payment for them. For with calculated precision, he uses his armor to slash each thug in turn, scratching one's shoulder, ripping through a pant leg to another's thigh. The movements are so precise, in fact, that it's apparent he's not trying to seriously hurt them, only leave a mark. It's over very quickly, with each thug back in his corner, nursing a new wound. They are helped off the platform while Tatsu receives the red headband in the exact position he left it in. And after Tetsu steps down, leaving his master alone on the platform, the Shredder finally speaks. His voice as precise as his movements, as razor sharp as his armor. Money, paid as bail for your freedom, is money lost to us. These four have paid their debt. They will wear their scars proudly as reminders of their quest to become full members of the Foot. He allows a moment for his words to sink in as they reverberate about the huge enclosure. So that's everything that occurred in this deleted scene. If you look at the Shredder's introduction scene, the moment when he's giving their new Foot Clan member his mask, you can see one of the four thugs in the back with a cut on his right shoulder. It's blurry, but you can see that he's holding on to his injured arm. As the deleted scene shows, it was meant to begin the moment they unrolled the carpet. The novelization of the film as well as the comic book based off the film both included the deleted scene and both described it similarly to the script. It's less of an impact when it's shown in the comic book, kind of comedic looking to be honest, 
But I guess it's better than not including it at all, like the film did. And seeing as they filmed the scene, they obviously should have included it since it's an amazing scene. It's not exactly a violent, mature scene, and if it were to be included, it would probably last about a minute or two for the entire scene. Only because of the buildup, as the fight does not appear to last long since each thug easily backed off after being cut once. So it wouldn't take up too much time, and it's not exactly graphic. Just an impressive scene that does a great job introducing the Shredder, as well as including those four thugs. See, Shredder's intro in the film was executed well enough to let you know that he's a very respectful and feared leader. However, this deleted scene would have revealed just how much of a threat the Shredder truly is. And if it were to be included, then the audience would be looking forward to seeing the Shredder face off against the Turtles in the end. The Michael Bay TMNT film did use a similar introduction for the Shredder, but it's portrayed far better in the 1990 film. It's a damn shame that it wasn't included, but seeing as they did film it, then they can always include it with the next anniversary edition. If you'd like to know more information about this, be sure to check out the link in the description to TMNTfilm.com. They have a huge section talking about this particular deleted scene. So with that said, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd like to see extra videos, have early access to upcoming videos, and you'd like to vote on what you'd want to see next, or you simply just want to see your name at the end of the videos, then feel free to support the channel by donating a single dollar to my Patreon. The link is on the description along with the link to my Facebook page, DeviantArt, and Twitter. I'd also like to give a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. It means a lot to me that you're helping support my channel. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.